Hey guys, how's it going? It's your boy, Daddy Issues, back once again. And today I wanted to do uh, ready for the another special video, I guess. But I wanted to go back, back in time, back in 5. Was it a good game? Hell yes it was. Did I play absolute shit out of it? Yes I did, that was a fantastic game. I'm pretty sure it's everybody's favorite, but then there's some people that really, really, really enjoy Tekken 4 over Tekken 5. A lot of people will rank Tekken 4, 5, and 7. A lot of people will do 5, 7, 4. It all depends, but I personally reckon 5 was the best. It was great, it was fantastic, it was a great game. But now I'm really enjoying 7, hopefully they remake 5 or add some stages or some music or some throwback or something. 5 was so, so good. But, speaking of 5, why would we be talking about Tekken 5 when Tekken 7 is out now with a potential Season 3 coming out? Well, there's a lot of people practice, a lot of people take this game very serious, a lot of people play competitively, but you can't always be on your PC, you can't always be on your computer, or that, it maybe just might be a casual, you might be wanting to play Tekken 5 again, I was going to say. Is it worth buying Tekken 5 on PSP? Travel, practice, there's a lot you can do in the game that that helps with Tekken 7, like I was playing on an emulator of course, so I have, I have a PSP but I was just playing on an emulator, just practicing, just uh, doing uh, very hard, just practicing on the AI, just getting what he puts in, just reminiscing as well, that's good, that's a good feeling, it's a good time, but now if you have a PSP lying around, or you have a computer that can't run Tekken 7, and you're going to an event, or just want to play Tekken, or just want to have a look at Tekken 5 since you are played as a kid, can't remember what it was like, um, you can easily get it on PSP, the original PSP, to PSP 2000 or PSP Vita. You can actually crack your PSP and get every PSP game for free, really. And I'll just run the ISOs using an app, which you can do. I wouldn't recommend for legal reasons, I guess, but my PSP is <coughs> cracked. But then you can also buy um, Tekken 5 on PS Vita as well. So if you have that, it's only like. 10, 10, 14 dollars, but that's strained also if, you, if you're in America, it would be like 10, 10, 8, maybe 7. It's extremely cheap, and it runs extremely well. And you can also um, make it a uh, PS Vita TV, I believe the cord. You can hook up a uh, controller as well, so that way you have it on, on a big TV, you have a PS4 pad, or and whatnot, and then just playing like that. It's basically a normal feeling, just playing an old game. but. Now let's get back to Tekken 5. Tekken 5, PSP, it's a bit different compared to the PS2 version. There's just some um, alterations. It's the same story, just uh, the final boss is just red instead of purple, really. Um, it has well, basically all the same features, it's just a little more a little more added. You don't have to go and unlock stuff. It's just a more condensed version of Tekken 5 on the PS2 with a little more uh, content added, I guess. So I believe it has, or I think it came out after Tekken 5, of course, on the PSP, and it's added some extra stuff to it. But it's basically exactly the same game, and it runs exactly the same. It's extremely smooth, I would say. But of course, I was on emulator, so it's 60 FPS. So it was a extremely smooth experience for me. But on your normal PSP, it will work completely fine with the game. You have your arcade, you have your ghost battles, you have your Tekken Ball, but I just personally just went into story mode, then I just started doing Electric Kazuya, I was playing as Jin as well, I was very frustrated because I was doing Ultra Hard and the AI would just, they would not, uh, they would block everything until they attacked themselves, so it was a pretty like, frustrating story, I just went down to um, very hard Kazuya and just played like that, but, there's and negatives, well, what's, what's playing on Tekken, Tekken 5, well, what's the do for you besides, um, uh, nostalgia or value. Well, it's a very fun game, as I said. But it's going there. You can practice because all these characters have the same moves, same strings as they still do in this, in this day. And it gives you a lot of practice, it gives you a lot of time to um, learn and, and practice and punish, of course. That's a horrible way to practice. Of course, it's not as good as practicing on Tekken 7 itself, but you'll be able to practice. As you can see, I'm way dashing quite well, but frequently. I'm back dashing as well, I'm doing electrics, I'm just. Never mind. It's just a little, little thing on the side that keeps me fresh, keeps my muscle memory fresh, keeps me improving. There's something on the side, like I'll be heading to the Tekken World Tour in Melbourne and that'll be an 8 hour drive. Well, I'm going to be for 8 hours. I'm going to grab my PSP of course. I'm going to start playing some Tekken. Just practice and practice. But of course you're playing on PSP and you, uh, you stick mainly. 
I don't know if there's an adapter for that, but I know for sure that if you're a pad player, you can easily, easily just uh, play on the PSP uh, controller. As an analog stick, but I wouldn't recommend it. But the D pad is pretty nice. Like I've played on it quite a few times. It's decent to do electrics. It's kind of like a PS3 controller, just a little more clickier, which isn't bad. It's, 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 a, it's a good it's a little, um, controller, and especially since the battery life lasts easily eight, eight to ten hours, depending on the battery setting, of course. But uh, it's just a great way to practice Tekken. I just thought that I'll talk about it, man. Why is Tekken on Tekken 5 on the PSP still so good? Well, there's many reasons. It's, as I said, it was a classic game. A lot of people played this and still reckon it's the best Tekken game. Unfortunately, um, it doesn't have Moonlight Wilderness, which has the best song of all Tekkens on, this, on the PSP version, which saddens me. But I have a practice mode, it has arcade, it has ghost battle, it has story mode, it has a lot of things that you can just go in, practice, have fun, and enjoy yourself. It's basically a casual experience while you're still practicing, which is great. Or if you're just a casual and just want to have fun, and you still play it and buy it, it's great. It's worth the price, it's very, very cheap. It's 10 bucks, 10 bucks minimum, um, 10 max maximum, 10 dollars maximum, I mean. And as all your characters has the full, full roster, if you play something like Mishima, you can use it to practice. And it's still just an online feature, you still play online, but I don't know if you find anybody online, you can play locally, which is great. On PSP, uh, even with the crash versions, you play locally. It's it's fantastic. And then, depending, uh, it could be just a huge nostalgia factor, but but customize has has customization, which is just unfortunate. Tekken Seven, uh, Tekken Five, Six, and Tag all had the, one of the best customizations, unfortunately. So Seven misses out. So you can make your character look pretty dope. Pretty sick. It's a uh, that's only a cosmetic feature, of course, but it's still there, it's, it's something. But, Get ready for the next as, 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 um, me stuttering, but as some of the best, uh, music and stages in Tekken, of course. Um, stages now, nowadays are kind of dull. It's really a refreshing experience away from Tekken 7, it really, it really does feel refreshing, especially with some of the easiest combos to do for a half health. Just a few jabs and then just the end of the string, which is really, really simple. But it just gets you, just gets you um, warmed up, gets you ready, gets you um, ready to play Tekken 7. Like, I, of course, I played on PC, so I was using emulators like my normal control that I use for PS4 and everything else. So I was just practicing that, and so that really warmed me up. But of course, when I get to the Tekken 1 tour myself, I won't be using my controller on the PSP, I'll be using normal PSP. But I'll be practicing motions at least, I'll be practicing motions, I'll be practicing punishes. Even though some frames are different, it's still handy to try practice punishing. Especially when this character has a 10 frame punish, it's still 10 frame punish to this day, so it's good practice with that. And movement as well. Movements, um, all the characters still have the high, high moves and stuff like that, so you can really uh, drain out the practice mode. But I, I personally, I wouldn't use that, I just like the go ahead and just go and do story mode or arcade or ghost battle and just, just rush in and just get that fight. It's Tekken, but a refreshing take, a refreshing take from Tekken just because it's not 7, it's not um, frustrating, you're not cap or you're not online people, you know, just sitting there harassing the brain dead AI in uh, treasure battle. In this hell, the AI, I spent 20 minutes trying to fight Steve Fox, he would just Dodge left and right, and just dodge my tanks, but of course, ultra hard. He knew my inputs exactly, so it's kind of bullshit. Which is quite stupid, uh, but. And then now you can even go back and play some characters that have different moves. Like Kazuya, he, he has a lot of different moves. Uh, uh, what do call it? He's down, uh, down forward one, has, has two different uh, moves. He has a 4 forward 2, which is uh, a launcher in this game. Pretty sick, um, and then uh, I've already talked about that iconic masters. There's, there's a lot to talk about. It was back in the day, but since it's Tech Seven, and this is just you're only gonna be playing it for an hour max that time unless you're really enjoying it. Or you're playing with friends, you know, like that. But is it worth buying? I, I just will say, yeah, it's definitely worth buying even in 2019, especially if you can get it free. Which is really good, and then just play your friends, and they can also get it free, and then. Round one. I'm pretty sure you need an adapter of some kind to hook up a PS4 controller, and then you can also hell, you can also use the PS Vita as a controller itself if you really wanted to. So if you're staying in a hotel or something, you just want to 
Quick Tech on the front of the TV or PS4, you know, second controls, something like that, just the PS Vita. But I feel like I've uh, rambled a bit and lost Toppy, but back to the topic. Tekken 5, PSP. It's a great game, very reminiscent of uh, Tekken and PS2. Very, well, it's basically the same game. PS2 just a bit more content, but uh, a few different uh, variations, changes to the map, uh, stages. Isn't too bad, it's great. Switch has Moonlight Wilderness, but I would say it's, it's great for practicing, great for um, great for playing it casually, just nost uh, nostalgia on, or getting your Tekken on the go that isn't Tekken Mobile, which is uh, not everybody's cup of tea, it's a yikes game. It's, it's not for everyone, but so you can play it, you can practice, especially if it's a if you play a character that requires uh, electrics or, or um, just a uh, or something like powering or um, just frame launches, but it's a character that has like way dash, jumping, um, for example, or electrics, as I said, or hell, you're just even um, back dashing, or or you're just even practicing back dashing, just trying to get the hang of um, green back dashing. You can do it. It's just just as good as Tekken 7, I would say. I felt like I was doing it better at some some points, and maybe being smoother on Tekken 5, or maybe just. Uh, just because it's old, maybe, maybe like, people weren't really supposed to figure out they could backdash, or who knows, maybe they just nerfed backdashing in 7. But yeah, there's a lot of ways um, you can practice with Tekken 5 and PSP, as I just said, and then you can also practice sidestepping, side walking, stuff like that. Um, I'm trying to think is that you can practice instant whilst, uh, while running moves if you really wanted to, but, but you also uh, actually. Yeah, you can practice system while running moves as well. Um, I don't think you can learn character. You, don't, you can really lab characters, I don't think, just because there's been so many changes and you might get confused because some strings might have a different move and so on, so I wouldn't recommend labbing unless you're going to play Tekken 5 uh, competitively, which I don't think has seen anymore, unfortunately. But there's maybe a uh, Tekken 5 remake soon, hopefully. But, but I just wanted to talk about Tekken 5 on the PSP and just. How such a, it's such a great game, PSP, PS2 version, yeah, it's really great, same, same with Tekken 6 on PSP, I, I really enjoyed it, not many people enjoy Tekken 6 as much as 5, but I, I personally enjoyed it, so, yeah. so if you're thinking about getting Tekken 5 on PSP or thinking about hey, I could practice with it, I would definitely say go for it, it's definitely a great game, still holds up to this day and age, and it's very very aesthetically pleasing as well, I kind of prefer the old old um, gritty look that it had, like it was always, it was always dark and always had this, um, it was always very dark and always had this very lighting effect, like you, you do um, a move you get hit and then this flash, like just the hit effects would light up the area, especially electrics, if someone blocked an electric it would light up the entire map, and it just looked really really cool, especially with, with night maps, it was just um, a really cool feature, it was just, it just had a lot of innovative stuff that, uh, the early second games are really lost, I would say, which makes it such a, a pleasing game to go back to, especially since uh, it was a more simpler era. It's not about just launching, like, yeah, he's, he's low, the Lloyd Perry system is different. Um, but it was so, so much more appealing in Tekken 5, I would say, even if it's on PSP and handheld, it still, it still looks pretty good to this day, I would say. But as I said, it has that kind of pleasing look, even if it's old. I kind of prefer it over the more uh, super realistic uh, Unreal. Uh, super realistic Unreal uh, 4 engine look, which uh, we all come to know with Tekken 7 and I assume with Tekken 8 and so on. But you're just looking at Tekken 5 and how it looks, it's, it's just a style, I guess it's a death of an art, art form, art style, my bad. So uh, it's definitely an enjoyable experience, I say, hey, go for it. It's definitely worth, definitely worth if you can get it, if your hands on it, get a PSP or. Hell, you can even get PSP for like 50 bucks or even cheaper than that, and you just hire it if you really wanted to buy a bunch of games, especially Tekken or Tekken 6. And then, if online works, they have no, it has no um, security system, you can't do that with a piece of beta, unfortunately. Yeah, you kind of can, but kind of can't, depends if, it, if you have a beta at a certain specific version. But if it's not that version, then tough luck, you can't. It's just the buy, which as I said, it's like 10 bucks max. And then, it's a great experience to play online, and especially play locally as well. And um, if you have the original PSP and you get Tekken 5 or Tekken 6, you can um, actually um, you can play, so you can play about the game itself. Um, you can just, uh, it's kind of like a DS um, download play basically. 
It's really, really, really nifty. But, but hopefully you guys enjoy. I just wanted my take on that can be I'll probably do Tech 6 as well, so they take care.